what's up you guys after she reacts here on today i'm going to be reacting to some more of the walking dead this is season three episode seven let's get into the episode you don't even know why you're here i didn't mean you no harm i lowered my gun but you raised yours you an asshole out there just like you were on that rooftop back there in atlanta what y'all did leaving me up there people wouldn't do that to an animal we went back for you ain't you thoughtful we did. All of us. Rick. Daryl. Rick. T-Dog. Rick. T-Dog. Yeah, big old spear chucker. The one I was pleading with. Mm-hmm. The one that dropped the key. Tell me where's that? I'm sure T-Dog would like to bury the hatchet. Let bygones be bygones. He didn't make it. Well, I hope he went slow. Kind of. Yeah. How about the rest? How about my baby brother? You can't tell me he's alive and then hold off on where he is. No? Well, maybe the farmer's daughter will help me out. Hmm. How do you know she's the, farm, the farmer's daughter? Holding you close. And her trembling skin is close to you. Hmm. I remember you. Yeah. You're the sneaky one. The one with nerve. You don't scare easy, do you? I like that. Now, I want to know where my brother is. I want to know where the sheriff is. I want to know where your hide, where your camp is. And I want to know now. I want to know now. Should we over? I think you should help her. Is she bit? Gunshot. Call, oh, get a blanket. Beth, water, and a towel. All right, thank you. It's all right. It's all right. Hey, hey. Look at me. Look at me. Who are you? Hey. We're not gonna hurt you. Unless you try something stupid first. All right? Rick. Who the hell's this? You wanna tell us your name? Y'all come on in here. Everything all right? You don't want to see this. I didn't ask for your help. Doesn't matter. Can't let you leave. Send to that wound for you. Give you a little food and water and then send you on your way. But you're gonna have to tell us how you found us and why you were carrying formula. The supplies were dropped by a young Asian guy with a pretty girl. What happened? Were they attacked? They were taken. Taken? By who? Same son of a bitch who shot me. Hey, these are all people. You tell us what happened now. Don't you ever touch me. Hey, you start talking. You're gonna have a much bigger problem than a gunshot wound. Find them yourself. You came here for a reason. There's a town, Woodbury. About 75 survivors, I think they were taken there. A whole town? It's run by this guy who calls himself the governor. Pretty boy, charming Jim Jones type. He 
got muscle? Pyramid military wannabes. They have armed sentries on every wall. You know a way in? Place is secure from walkers, but we could slip our way through. How'd you know how to get here? They mentioned a prison. Said which direction it was in. Said it was a straight shot. This is Herschel. The father of the girl who was taken. He'll take care of that. A lot tougher than I remember. It's interesting, the two different, uh, like, interrogations, one went well and one went like this. Two different styles. Yeah, but he didn't do that, did he? So tell me, where y'all been at? It's just a matter of time before they come looking. I'll bake a cake with pink frosting. Would they like that? Ain't nobody coming. Rick is, and when he gets here... He's gonna do nothing. Not if he wants you and Bo Peep back. Think I'm in this by myself? You can't take us all. There's too many of us. They're in a pair of nuts between the whole pussy lot of you. We've been on the road, not hiding in some dungeon. Rick, Shane, Dale, Jim, Andrea. <laughs> really? Is that right? Daryl's been calling her ass kicker. Ass kicker? <laughs> Has he now? I've been thinking, what should we really call her? What do you think? Remember my third grade teacher, Mrs. Mueller? Of course. Her first name was Judith. Do you think that's a good name? I do not. That's, that's a fine name. Judith it is. It sounds like an old lady's name. I'm sorry if your name is Judith, but... I mean, Shannon's not very good either. <laughs> They're safe. Where are your lives, remember? Bring them back. What exactly? Could you cue up the first song on the record? Sure. On my mark. My name is Milton Mamet. Please raise your right hand off the bed if you recognize any of the following statements to be true. Your name is Michael Coleman. You were married to Betty Coleman. Your children were Michael Jr. and Emily. Very good. What did he say? He asked if I could keep it playing while we wait. All righty, I want to imagine how I felt fighting my way off that roof. One hand, uh, losing blood. Walkers are chomping down at me every step of the way. Last chance, where's your group? Uh, uh, suit yourself. Uh, you're a pretty big snack for this fella. But you know what they say. He's going to be hungry again in an hour. Go, run, boy. Mr. Coleman passes, we'll restrain him. He'll reanimate. I'll ask the questions again, record his responses. I need you to end the subject's reanimated state. I've been trying to determine whether trace memory and human consciousness exist after the subject. You literally have the answer to this, Andrea. You were at the CDC. Prostate cancer. We didn't have the resources to treat him, so he volunteered to be the test subject. He's been very cooperative. He's a remarkable man. You're close. We spent a lot of time together the song the singing bowl the questions we've done that a few dozen times these are cues that will hopefully linger in his unconscious mind even after he's died there is no unconscious mind Milton. when they turn they become monsters that's all whoever they once were is gone we'll see you haven't seen this before have you the transformation no no one in your family was an only child. My parents died when I was young. Weren't you with anyone when everything went down? I telecommuted to work. I never really...
Andrea, mention that you went to the CDC. Literally, there was evidence there. Probably should have restrained him beforehand. So, they know Andrea. But they don't know she's here. But they do know your brother. He does, but I don't know about her. I've never seen him before. Their people may come for him. Maybe. The kid and Andrea both say they went back for me. But what, he won't break? Say where his people are? He's a tough son of a bitch. Pick that walk apart in this. Maybe a winner in the sticks put some hair on his balls. We'll need him for leverage if his people come. What'd you try to kill him for? He pissed me off. What's the girl say? I was just about to go talk to her next. I'll take care of it. We'll take you back to your people, explain this was all just a misunderstanding. You tell us where they are, and we'll drive you there. I want to talk to Glenn. I can't allow that. Your people are dangerous. Hank up my man. You're the other one that, well, you guys brought them there. You just tell us where they are, and we'll bring them here. You'll be safe, I promise. No? Fine. Let's try something else. Stand up. <laughs> Take off your shirt. No. Take off your shirt, or I'll bring Glenn's hand in here. Go on. you're going to do. Go to hell. You're fucked up, dude. They have patrols. We're better off on foot. How far? Night's coming. A mile. Maybe two. I'm surprised that Michonne would want to go back there. I guess for revenge? I know what you did for me. For my baby while I was working things out. Thank you. That's what we do. He went home. and slow. Andrew, you have information, and it's so frustrating that you're not talking about it. It's happening. 
Please raise your right hand off the bed if you recognize any of the following statements to be true. Your name is Michael Coleman. You were married to Betty Coleman. Your children were Michael Jr. and Emily. Did you see that? He responded. The fingers move. That could be enough. No, he can't raise his hand. It's the angle. I want to try again without the restraints. No. We may have tethered his consciousness. We have to try. No. I know what happens if the subject comes for us. That's what you're here as for. As soon as we... we pull the restraints, he'll lunch. My name is Milton Mammoth. Please raise your right hand. <laughs> I think I'd like to record my findings while they're fresh. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, drop it. We're through with games. Now, one of you is going to give up your camp. My prison. The one you're doing? The place is overrun. Four ticket. How many are you? Ten. I'm ten now. Ten people cleared that whole prison of virus. Zone. There's no way only... So she's lying? Because if she's lying, that means a pretty sizable force has moved into our backyard. But if she's not, this group of your brother at its core has done something you told me couldn't be done. They did it. Your brother might be out there right now searching for him. Blood is blood, right? Makes me wonder where your loyalties lie. Here, you two get a small group and scout this prison. I want to know exactly what we're dealing with. Man, the tension is really high. Like, I, I kind of want to watch the next one after this one, but we'll see, I guess. I catch your word that you be back. Everything all right with Milton? What happened? Mr. Coleman died. At the middle of the fire while he was looking for her? No. It's all right. It's all right. This is the disgusting man. Oh, this has left me off on like a unfinished feeling. <laughs> like I want to watch the next one. Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats.
If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah, so there's a lot of tension in this episode. I do not like what the governor was doing to Glenn or Maggie. Disgusting man. a good episode though. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, 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 uh.